and run, make a hole in the park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Pops is going up. And Bob is running away with the diver by five. Yeah, Jack in front. Drawing it up. Cougar on the way. That's affirmed. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief is striving. Best pal breaks away. So far as all blasts. Real quiet with his now along the inside. This is the gun. Glad you could join us for racing from Betfair Hollywood Park on Belmont Day 2012. A good 11 race card, a stakes triple header, including the Grade 1 Charlie Winningham featuring the return of Acclamation and return of Pat Valenzuela. That's the 10th race on the 11 race card. Let's get right to the action of the Saturday opener. A field of six two year old maiden fillies traveled five furlongs in the opener. Number five, Big Belief, dumped Joe Talbot during the post parade, ran off, but was caught and was a starter. Field of six went post for number three, Scarlet Strike, the four to five choice. They're off. Oh, Happy Gray and It's Ain, the stablemates break fast. So does Big Belief between horses. It's Ain pokes her neck in front. Scarlet Strike away in fourth. Gambler's Beauty fifth. And the early trailer is Miss Denny outside to the rail. It's Ain is the boss leaving the back stretch. It's Ain leads by two. Oh, Happy Gray and Big Belief. Big Belief now a neck into second. Oh, Happy Gray a bit green at the rail and tentative third, but has run. Then it's Scarlet Strike, fourth and about three from the lead. Gambler's Beauty has four lengths to make up, and Miss Denny is five lengths behind It's Ain at the top of the stretch. It's Ain has built up a nice lead here. It's two and a half or three lengths. Scarlet Strike runs up outside of Oh Happy Gray. Then comes Gambler's Beauty. Final furlong. It's Ain continues to lead. Oh Happy Gray trying to run down her stable mate. It looks like it could be Harrington 1-2 here as It's Ain and Oh Happy Gray are 1-2 to the wire. Oh Happy Gray runs by and wins. Mike Harrington, 1-2, Oh Happy Gray beat It's Ain, Scarlet Strike third, Gambler's Beauty fourth. In all Mike Harrington exact in the opener, Oh Happy Gray runs down stablemate It's Ain to score. Mike Harrington, a trainer, Heinz and Michelle Steinman, the owners, Oh Happy Gray ridden by Victor Espinosa, $5.60. Harrington exact, 17.60, final time, 58 and 3. Moving on to race number two, six furlongs made in claimers, three-year-olds and up, claiming price of $20,000. Number two, La Sancha, and number four, Dance the Way You Are, both off at two to one. La Sancha was the favorite. They're off. Tornado Alley broke well. Quick Wampum is close up. Dance the Way You Are, and La Sancha in a very tight spot. Also tight at the rail is our new dancer. Next comes... A speedy Vixen and Fool's figurehead, and the trailer is Mo Better Mo Better. Quick Wampum up into a tough spot. Quick Wampum going to have to check out of there with the Bug Boy Macias, and so he'll go around as Tornado Alley clears off going into the far turn. Quick Wampum now re-engages from the outside, and he's closer now. Quick Wampum right alongside Tornado Alley. La Sancha races in third and two and a half off the lead. Dance the way you are just outside of La Sancha. Then comes Fool's Figurehead, a ridden along fifth and five from the front. Eight lengths back to Mo Better, Mo Better, 13 off the lead. Speedy Vixen and our new dancer, the trailer's top of the stretch. It is Tornado Alley, turned away quick wampum now. Tornado Alley, final furlong, a two length lead. Dance the way you are, begins to run after Tornado Alley. And it's down to these two, Tornado Alley's a length and a half in front. Dance the way you are, getting closer from the outside. Tornado Alley, dance the way you are, going to be close. Tornado Alley, dance the way you are, Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley hangs on and beats Dance the Way You Are by a neck. Quick Wampum finished third and Fool's Figurehead was fourth. Huge form reversal on number eight, Tornado Alley. For the owners, breeders, Billy and Phyllis Adair, A.C. Avila, the winning trainer, Edwin Maldonado up. This three-year-old filly is making her third career start. She was beaten 83 lengths in her previous two starts, but she turns things around and pays $26. Dance the way you are was second, third, was the first time starter Quick Wampum. That early double, 135.60, there was a claim Quick Wampum to Mark Glatt for $18,000. Final time, 110 and two. Moving on to race number three at a mile and eighth on the grass, 61st running of the grade two honeymoon handicap. $150,000 purse, three old fillies, a mile and eighth on the grass. John Sadler sent out two. The favorite was number one, Lady of Shamrock at one to two. Vic Stauffer with the call of the grade two honeymoon handicap. They're up. 
Long Face and Trois Oriole. These two match strides early and they'll set the pace jointly from Stormy Lucy who comes in races in third. Lady of Shamrock comes away running in fourth at the rail and the early trailer is my GG. They run into the clubhouse turn and the leader is Longface now from Trois Oriole, who backs off in second, so Longface is the leader a length and a half. Trois Oriole is second, the same margin to Stormy Lucy, who tracks at the rail third and three from the front. Then comes My Gigi out of last place. She's fourth now and four to make up. And Lady of Shamrock, the big favorite, is fifth and last, five lengths behind as they turn into the backstretch in the 61st Honeymoon Handicap, and the leader is Longface. Longface up the backstretch, and they are just crawling along. She's got her ears pricked and just cantering up front. This is going to be tough for Lady of Shamrock to close into these soft fractions. She's back in fifth and about six from Longface, who is doing it very easily. Longface to the half-mile pole. Two lengths from Trois Oriole and a closer Stormy Lucy through at the rail. My Gigi is fourth now and about five off the lead, and Lady of Shamrock is the trailer. She's traveling comfortably five lengths behind, but again, she's going to have to close into fresh horses as they leave the back stretch, Long Face is the leader. Trois Oriole is closer now in second, and she comes to put pressure on towards the quarter pole. Long Face only a neck in front. Trois Oriole now on the full attack, and she draws even at the top of the stretch. Stormy Lucy, the rail opens for her. My Gigi to the outside. Lady of Shamrock is still last and three lengths behind, going to swing to the outside, and Stormy Lucy takes the lead. My Gigi, Lady of Shamrock is closing now, but still two behind. My Gigi, My Gigi takes the lead. Lady of Shamrock to the outside, my Gigi, Lady of Shamrock. I think my Gigi held on, even though I think Lady of Shamrock got the best of the bob. This is very close. Maybe my Gigi over an onrushing Lady of Shamrock in the 61st Honeymoon Stormy. Lucy was third. A very tight photo finish in the grade two Honeymoon Handicap. The nod goes to number two, my Gigi. Trained by Pete Erton, ridden by Rafael Bejarano, owned by Connor DeBruker and Jacobson. This daughter of E. Dubai returns $8.40, victorious in the Honeymoon Handicap. Lady of Shamrock was second, Stormy Lucy finished third. Pick three, $409.90, final time, $149 and one. We'll take a break, come back for the fourth. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Saturday's fourth, a starter allowance race, three olds and up, mile and one sixteenth in a field of six. The favorite number five, Confucius Jr., first start as a gelding, bet down to seven to five. Vic Stoffer with the call. And they're up. Baron Von Red and Sheriff Ryan break well. Serengani was slow into stride, but he's not slow anymore as he splits horses and goes all the way up to take over the lead. Then comes Soy Fed. Now Confucius Jr. backs off second to last, and the early trailer is Giotano. Serengani wanted that lead, and he clears off as Baron Von Red concedes the front and sits second. Serengani a length and a half. Baron Von Red angles to the two path for his eventual attack. Races in second, three lengths in front of Soy Fed in third. Sheriff Ryan's a tugging fourth in the blue and white at the rail, five off the lead. Confucius Jr. also tugging just outside of him. And Kiyotano is nine lengths behind Serengani up the back stretch. Serengani now three quarters of a length from Baron Von Red, who's inching up in second. Serengani now leads by a half length. Baron Von Red is second by two and a half lengths to Sheriff Ryan and Soy Fett. Confucius Jr. is fifth now, still under a snug hold and five lengths behind. And then at six lengths last to Kiyotano as they leave the backstretch. Serengani's back in front clear. Serengani extends his lead now to a length, but as soon as he did that, Baron Von Red came right back at him and the lead's a half length. Sheriff Ryan is coming after the front runners. Soy Fed backs out, just lost fourth to Confucius Jr. Confucius Jr.'s at the rail four to make up. Soy Fed not cornering at all, and Kiyotano has trailed throughout. Serengani, the one to beat. 
Baron Von Red is now on the full attack and he draws within a half length of the lead, but Serengani is turning him away again. Baron Von Red gonna try him again. And now Baron Von Red is alongside. Meanwhile, Confucius Jr. is only a length and a half behind. Baron Von Red, Serengani, Baron Von Red. Boy, it took the final three eights to get by him, but he did. Baron Von Red beat an ultra game, Serengani, Confucius Jr. third, Sheriff Ryan fourth. Baron Von Red holds off all challengers down the lane under strong handling by jockey Martin Garcia, owned and bred by Clark and Janine Hansen. John Sadler, the winning trainer, the winner returned eight dollars and eight dimes. Saragani was second, settling for third was the favorite, Confucius Jr. Trifecta 54-90, final time 144 and one. Race number five, six furlongs, maiden claimers, fillies and mares for a $20,000 tag. Scratch the three, Kentucky tail. Scratch the seven, Pine Drive. Number eight, Glorious Memories, the six to five post time favorite. They're off. Raucous Lady and Glorious Memories with Nifty Dream at the rail, addendum a close fourth. Lady Aragorn is fifth, and the early trailer is Secret Genius. Nifty Dream quickest on the fence and leads by a length from Raucous Lady in second. The same margin to Glorious Memories. The Gray racing third and now two and a half or three from the front. Lady Aragorn and Addendum both have five lengths to make up and they're two in front of Secret Genius, three and a half furlongs from the money. Nifty Dream trying to go it all the way and leads by two lengths from Raucous Lady who continues to track in second. Same margin to the big favorite, Glorious Memories. She's in striking position if good enough and now three and a half off the lead. Secret Genius is closing in. Here comes Secret Genius and Danny Vergara within five of the front. As just inside of her, Lady Aragorn also rallies, and now the trailer is addendum, and the leader is still Nifty Dream. Nifty Dream has a two-length lead over Raucous Lady. Glorious Memories did not go on, and she's gone. Fifth and going nowhere. So here's Raucous Lady to take over the lead. Nifty Dream is at the rail. Raucous Lady now a length in front. Nifty Dream is second, Secret Genius, and Lady Aragorn, Raucous Lady. Raucous Lady won by two, Nifty Dream held second, Lady Aragorn third, Secret Genius finished fourth. Do not see too many New York bred first time starters winning Southern California, but here's one Raucous Lady owned and bred by Mercedes Stable, daughter of Rock Hartena, the bold Ruckus mare, Toby Ruckus. Raucous Lady, Alonzo Quinone is up for Tim Yachtin. Gets the score at $6.20. Nifty Dream settled for second. Lady Aragorn was third. Pick four, $7.42.75. Pick five, $3,514 and a quarter. Final time, one eleven and one. On to race number six, second stake on the card to 12th running of the Manhattan Beach Stakes. $70,000 purse, six furlongs on the turf for three-year-old fillies. Pick six carryover of $74,000, total pool over $460,000 as a field of six went to the post. Number one by Rama, the choice at three to five. Vic Stoffer with the call, Manhattan Beach Stakes. They're at the post. They're off. Dipsy and Love My Girls shows speed. My selection at the rail, hidden passion in the center. Then comes Lemon Hero. Now Love My Girl backs off to be second to last, and the early trailer is by Rema. Up the back stretch with Dipsy, the leader, and Dipsy flies along. About a two and a half length lead over My Selection and Hidden Passion together, second and third. Then it's two lengths to Lemon Hero. Red cap and about four from the front by Rama's out of last place. She's fifth with seven lengths to make up and the trailer is Love My Girl, and the leader is Dipsy. They leave the backstretch with Dipsy in charge. She's built up a big lead here. Dipsy goes to the quarter pole in the 12th Manhattan Beach Stakes, and she is five lengths in front of My Selection and Hidden Passion. Lemon Hero is next by Rama, still a long way out of it. Nine from the lead, Love My Girl next. Dipsy, a final furlong, and she leads. Now Edwin Maldonado goes to work on her, and Dipsy only leads by two and a half, and by Rama and Lemon Hero are coming after her and Dipsy's out of gas. Here's Lemon Hero. Here's Byrama to the outside. Byrama, Lemon Hero. It is Byrama. Two stakes, two wins. Rafael Bejarano. Byrama wins the 12th Manhattan Beach stakes over Lemon Hero. Close for third. Dipsy and Hidden Passion. Another tight photo finish and another perfectly timed ride by Rafael Bejarano. Make that two on the card for Bejarano. Byrama trained by Simon Callahan, owned by Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners. Takes down the Manhattan Beach Stakes, pays $3.40. Good effort by the runner-up, Lemon Hero. Third was the pace setter, Dipsy. 
Pick three, 48 dollars and 80 cents. Final time, 109 and three. We'll take a time out, come back with the seven. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Back with Saturday's seventh, a six furlong allowance race with a purse of $54,000. Number one, Mile High Magic bet down to the even money choice. Scratch number three, industry leader, Octane, the second choice at two to one. Six went six in the seventh. They're off. Octane broke best. Mile High Magic sent through from the inside. Xuan Feng is close up. So is Chapman's Peak and so four are right across the track. Obsess away a close fifth and the early trailer is high test. Xuan Feng and Mile High Magic up the back stretch. Mile High Magic and Bejarano a neck in front. Xuan Feng is second. These two have sprinted three lengths clear of Octane and Chapman's Peak right together third and fourth and on the front end Mile High Magic is now two lengths in front. Obsess is fifth with seven to make up, and he's three in front of High Test, and they round the far turn with Mile High Magic, now with a big lead. Mile High Magic to the quarter pole, a three-and-a-half length lead over Octane, who tries to come after him in second. Chapman's Peak is five from the lead. Obsess joins Xuan Feng, and High Test is the trailer, and Mile High Magic is smart at the top of the stretch. Mile High Magic just galloping along, and he's opened up five lengths now. High test looks like he'll run up into second. He is closing beautifully, but he's got four and a half to make up and only 100 yards to do it. Mile High Magic, high test second. Mile High Magic. Three wins, Rafael Bejarano. He beat high test a length and a quarter. Octane third, obsessed fourth. Mile High Magic pops the gate, shakes off an early challenge, and coasts to victory under Rafael Bejarano. That's a hat trick for Bejarano. Bob Baffert winning trainer, Mike Pegram winning owner, and also the breeder of the son of Roman ruler, $4.20. High test second and third was Octane. That pick three, $23.40. Final time, 109 flat. On to race number eight, a full field of maidens on the turf at six furlongs, bred in California, running for a $52,000 purse. Number three, Enduring Promise, the second choice at five to two. Number nine, DJ Dave, bet down to the two to one choice. Scratch the 13, Joe Dog. Scratch the 14, Troy Story. Very unusual thing here. Full brothers running in the same race. The 10, Hotradamus. The 13, Extra Hot, are full brothers. Vic Stoffer with the call. They're up. Enduring Promise broke beautifully right out for the front. DJ Dave and Jocko Red, Mr. Ornery, and the outside Hot Tradamas. In high regards and Warren's closer. Deep play was slow into stride, but now midfield alongside stablemate Besame Suances. Bring on the Wayne is next, then CC's Promise and CC's Reason, and the trailer is extra hot. Up the back stretch they run, and the leader is Enduring Promise, just a neck in front of DJ Dave in second. A length to Jocko Red. He looms large, third at the rail, and a sharp third at that, two from the front. Then comes Mr. Ornery and a three-wide Hot Tradamus. Besame Suances is midfield, so is in high regards, and Warren's closer, all about six from the lead. Deep play has nine to make up. Bring on the Wayne is next. Then CC's Reason, and distantly last extra hot, and the leader is still Enduring Promise and Bejarano. Jocko Red going to try to split horses and come after him. DJ Dave could still do it. So could Mr. Ornery. Jocko Red trying to bowl through. And during Promise has the lead. Jocko Red to the outside, Mr. Ornery. And now Mr. Ornery and Jocko Red come to the wire. And Mr. Ornery is going to win. Don Valpredo just ran 1-2. Mr. Ornery and Jocko Red. DJ Dave third, close for fourth. First time starter from the Marty Jones barn at a big price. Mr. Ornery, owned and bred by Donald and Sally Vale Prado, a son of C's Tizzy. Joe Steiner up $83.40. The runner up, Jocko Red, also owned by Don Val Prado, who's a co breeder, also trained by Marty Jones at Jones Val Prado Exacta, $205 and a dime. Jocko Red and DJ Dave rounded out the trifecta. Final time, 110 and 1.
Saturday's ninth race tipped off the final pick three, six furlongs, maidens three and up in a field of eight. Number one, One World, showed good speed in his only start. He's the second choice at five to two. First time starter Burlister for Bob Baffert, the eight to five post time favorite. Vic Stauffer with all the action of race number nine. They're up. Until you and Burlister show speed. Bull time on the outside, fly high near the rail, one world close up. Then comes Ken and Tis now or then, and the trailer is Tama County. Until you confronts Burlister up the back stretch. These two now speed away. Until you at the rail, Burlister outside, and they've sprinted three lengths clear of fly high. Then comes Bull Time and One World, five from the front. Another six back to Kin, who's joined by Tis Now or Then, and then ten lengths last to Tama County as they leave the back stretch. Until You and Burlister, now Until You is a half length in front. Meanwhile, Fly High is moving up three wide and within a length and a half of the lead. Bull Time will have to be four wide. At the rail, One World is tracking, saving ground, and less than two from the front in Zenyatta's silks. Then comes Tis Now or Then, top of the stretch until you. A three wide Fly High. Burlister now two from the front. One World has to quicken three off the lead. Final furlong until you and Fly High. Until you, a half length in front. Fly High trying to get by, but it's not easy. Until you fly high until you win until you beat fly high by a neck one world third and bull time fourth a washington bred son of belmont stakes winner jazeel first time starter until you very game and fit in his debut good job by van belvoir for the owners coal creek farm who also bred this gelding victor espinosa board twenty dollars and forty cents fly high was second one world finished third Pick three, $468.40. Final time, 110 and 1. We'll take our final time out, come back with the Charles Whittingham Memorial Handicap. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Saturday's feature race, the 44th running of the Grade 1 Charlie Whittingham Memorial Handicap. Quarter million dollar purse, a mile and one quarter on the turf for three year olds and up. For number four, Slim Shady was second last time in a turf classic on Derby Day at Churchill Downs. He's a second choice at six to five. Scratch number five, Make Music for Me. Number six, Acclamation, two time defending champ, makes his first start of the year. Patrick Valenzuela back in the saddle, the even money choice. Vic Stoffer with the call, 44th running, Charles Winningham Memorial Handicap. They're at the post. They're up. Good start. Barney Rebel and Acclamation show the most speed, and these two are 1-2 as they head up the chute. Then comes Slim Shady, followed by Juniper Pass, and the early trailer is Utopian. Acclamation going to make the lead with one lap to go as Barney Rebel concedes the front, and so two-time defending champion Acclamation will set the pace. He's two lengths in front. Barney Rebel tracks from second. It's four lengths to Slim Shady, third and six behind the front runner acclamation. Juniper Pass has eight lengths to make up, and he's a neck in front of Utopian as they race at the clubhouse turn. In the 44th, Charles Whittingham, Memorial Handicap, acclamation is doing it beautifully. Acclamation just galloping along for Patrick Valenzuela, and he's built up his lead over Barney Rebel. Acclamation turns into the backstretch, two and a half or three lengths in front. Barney Rebel is second, Slim Shady is now third, and he's actually closer now. Slim Shady is at the rail in third and three and a half from the front. Utopian's guided to the center of the turf course. He's got four to make up. Juniper Pass just inside of him. Much closer order now as they run towards the half mile pole and acclamation has been uncontested throughout. Acclamation goes into the far turn. He is a length and a quarter in front of Barney Rebel and a still closer Slim Shady through at the rail. He's a length and a half from the lead. Utopian has three and a half to come. Juniper pass fifth and last, and now they pick up the pace, leaving the back stretch, and the pace is picked up by pace setter Acclamation. 
Acclamation. Acclamation goes to the quarter pole, and he is still solidly in front. Two lengths over Slim Shady in second. Juniper Pass moves through at the rail. Utopian five from the California bred Acclamation, trying to make it three in a row in the Whittingham, and he leads by three lengths. Slim Shady continues to run after him in second. Utopian has taken third. Acclamation, Slim Shady. Acclamation goes all the way to win. What a special horse this is. Three in a row in the Charles Whittingham Memorial Handicap. Acclamation beats Slim Shady a length and a half. Utopian was third and Juniper passed for it. For the third straight year, California bred Acclamation takes down the Charles Whittingham Memorial Handicap. Patrick Valenzuela aboard this six-year-old son of unusual heat, owned by Hilvers, Johnston, Johnston, et al. Don Warren, the winning trainer, Patrick Valenzuela back in the saddle. Acclamation back in the winner's circle. The widow of the late Charlie Whittingham, Peggy Whittingham, presents a trophy to the winning connections, make it three straight Whittinghams for Acclamation. $4 on the win in. Good effort by the runner-up, Slim Shady, who was second best. Third was Utopian. Pick three over $800. Final time for the Whittingham, 201 and two. 11th and final wraps up the card. Claiming horses at six furlongs, price of $16,000 for fillies and mares who have never won two. Scratch the 1A Natural, number four, Gem in the Rough, and number six, Warren City Art, both off at three to one. Scratch number 12, Ernine's Love, got a field of 12 going six furlongs. Vic Stoffer, 11th and final. They're at the post. They're off. Evening Twilight, Sunshine High, Lauren Bray, all six sisters, Ziva all shows speed, Bella Marino's close up, Gem in the Rough on the move. See our favorite secret and Jacobita are next, then JNS Express and Warren City Art, the trailer's Jimmy D. Ziva up the backstretch from Gem in the Rough who moves through to challenge, these two pretty much even. Gem in the Rough inside, Ziva outside. Evening Twilight is third and two from the front. Lauren Bray, all six sisters, and see our favorite secret all have four and a half to make up. Then comes, Jacobita and Sunshine High. JNS Express is third last, but only about five or six from the front. Chimmy D is next. Warren City Art wide open top of the stretch. New leader, All Six Sisters. All Six Sisters is the leader at the top of the lane. A half length in front of Evening Twilight. Lauren Bray four deep. Then comes JNS Express moving up in the red, and here's JNS Express along with Lauren Bray trying to run down All Six Sisters. Meanwhile, Jim in the rough moves through at the rail, and Chimmy D any one of about five across the racetrack, and the lead leader is Chimmy D in the center, Gem in the Rough at the rail. These two, Gem in the Rough, Chimmy D, Gem in the Rough. Gem in the Rough beat Chimmy D by a length, by three quarters of a length. JNS Express finished third, finishing fourth was all six sisters, and fifth, Lauren Bray. First off the claim for owner John Leviakis and trainer Melody Conlon, Gem in the Rough, much the best in the 11th and final. She was trying to get out on the turn, got shuffled back, lost position, and re-rallied to win. Jim in the rough scores under apprentice Vinny Bednar, $8.60. Long shot Chimmy D ran on for second, and longer shot JNS Express finished third. Trifecta $520.90. Super high five, two tickets got it right, $21,000 a copy. Late pick four, $2,249.30. In the pick six, 17 tickets had it right, $16,550. Five out of six, $115 even. Place pick all was on the first 10 races, nine out of 10 got the money, $1,188.60. First post time on Sunday at one o'clock, just one scratch, ninth and final, scratch number 11, Mark's Cat. That'll do it for Saturday racing from Hollywood Park. Back up and running on Sunday to close out the racing week. First post at 1 o'clock for the nine race card. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. Hope to see you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.